Today, I'm gonna to demonstrate how you can raise your pH without any chemicals at all, with just aerating the water. Off-gassing carbon dioxide will raise your pH. And these are the things that uh, a spa would do, kids splashing, waterfall, things of that nature. And uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this jar of water right here we're gonna test it. We're gonna put some phenol red in there and a little bit of acid and we're gonna get some readings and then we're gonna aerate it and watch that pH rise. Uh, and you'll be able to see that with the phenol red. Now, the reason you would do this is if you have a, um, come into a pool with a high alkalinity and you need to get that alkalinity down. Well, you can get that alkalinity down and then turn on your spa for about five or six hours and your pH will just come up naturally and you want to have to use soda ash because uh, if you use soda ash you get a yo-yo effect you got to put soda ash then you got to lower the alkalinity again then you got it's just too much of a problem so this way here will raise your ph and it will not affect your alkalinity so let's get started on this so the first thing we're going to do the first we're going to do is test this water here and see what we got i use a hawk Digital meter, this is the only way to go if you're gonna do LSIs on your pool. Because I ran into a pool the other day that was 8.7 pH, and there was no way I would have known that by just using the phenol red. Um, so if you're gonna do LSIs, you need to get a digital meter. So let's check this out here, and let's see where we got on this water. Well, it's about a seven nine, seven nine right now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I did this earlier too. I'm gonna mention, I did this earlier too with, uh, I just wanted to test my alkalinity to find out what the drop would be. And I tested the water, it was 170 alkalinity. And then just by using this right here with a little bit of acid, I dropped the alkalinity by 30 in this water. So it just goes to show you how little acid you truly need in your pools to drop that pH. So we're gonna take the acid right here, we're gonna put the stick in it, we're gonna put in some uh, phenol red, and let's mix this phenol red around. Okay, now we're gonna put in the acid Now you see how that dropped down there? That's just a tiny little bit of acid. That's not a whole lot of acid. That's just what was on that stick. Um, so let's see what we got now. Looks like we have Coming in about a 7069. See, that's why these digital meters are so important. The best one I found is a Hawk. I mean, this thing is good. Um, every time I, I put it in a standard solution, it tests right on the money. Um, I use a uh, Taylor 7.2 standard, and I also have this a standard for 4.0 and then your testing standard for 7.0 um, to calibrate it and 10.0. But right now we're at a 6.84. Okay, that's how much that dropped down. Just that little bit of acid dropped that, dropped that down. So go ahead and rinse this out. And now what we're gonna do is use this canned air right here to aerate this water and you will see this pH rise right before your eyes. So let's aerate this water now. It's already starting to change. And yeah, it's already changing. I guess that's, uh, I don't really use the phenol red, so I'm, I'm guessing that's probably about a, a 7.4, coming up maybe to 7.5. Let's just keep going. The more aerating you go, the, the faster that pH wants to come up too. So and this is the reason why 
sometimes you go to a pool and it's always 8.1, 8.2. It's because the people use their spas and it just raises that pH. And also equilibrium of pH is 8.2, 8.3. So it always wants to come up anyways too. Um, but this makes it go a lot faster. Okay, now you just see how that's up there? I'm guessing, I don't know, you guys that use the phenol red, what do you think that is? All right, I don't know, it's in seven, seven, nine or so. So let's, let's check it out here. And what do we got going here? Seven, eight point. Let's see. Seven point eight four. So there you go. So and that's how much aerating water will raise that pH. And uh, so you don't have to use a sodium bicarb. All you got to do is just aerate that water and that's it. That's the key. And aerating water will not affect your alkalinity. So it will raise that pH only and your alkalinity will stay the same. Um, so you can avoid that yo-yo deal with the uh, soda ash acid, soda ash acid. It's just um, it's too much hassle. This is the way to do it. And, uh, and I just showed you right here how much aerating water will raise that pH. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe so you can get more videos like this. Uh, and you guys have a good day. All right? Thanks.